Hey there, guys. So I bought something on eBay, kind of on a whim, but I figured why the hell not. I bought a, uh, a phone, a cheap phone, but I wanted to see what it would be like to use a Windows phone. So I ordered this uh, Nokia Lumia. I believe it's a 435. This is a T-Mobile variant. And uh, it's not in the greatest shape, but it was $12, so not too bad. And as you can see, it's, it's in rough shape. It's not the best looking thing in the world here. But uh, I figured, why not? Wow, look at that, a 3.5 mil headphone jack. You don't see those any, you don't see those very often. You've got on the side here your sleep-wake uh, volume up and volume down. The phone was actually on when I opened the box, which was interesting, so... Um, this is the lock screen. Now, this was, uh, one of the lower-end phones that could actually be updated to, uh, Windows Mobile 10. And, uh, I wanted to see how that would run. Um, but as you can see here, it's actually running Windows Phone 8.1. So, I figured, why not just see what that looks like first? Uh, one thing, when I turned it on... Uh, when I first connected to the Wi-Fi, I went on to, I can't, it, there was a message that said, meet your new Windows phone. And this is what it greeted me with. Support for Windows phone 8.1 has ended <laughs> as of July 11th, 2017. So obviously this is pretty out of date, but from what I can, from what I'm, you know, seeing here, it's a very fluid interface. Uh, when Windows phone first came out, I thought it was pretty nice, but I think it lacked a lot of uh, the apps that the that Android platform had and iOS had because it was so late to the game. But uh, I do think Microsoft did a pretty good job with this. So, as I said, this is Windows Phone 8.1. I may or may not put my SIM in here. I'm not sure. It is a T-Mobile phone, and I do have a T-Mobile phone. So, uh, I may do it, maybe not. But uh, here's your little options here, and this is pretty similar to... Um, Android with the notification shade. And you have your uh, quick options here for your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth camera, your brightness. That doesn't scroll, it looks like. Um, and then you have your all settings here, which is nice. And, uh, I mean, I like the font. And I mean, as you can see, I mean, it's pretty fluid. It's not as... Uh, maybe that's adjustable. Or maybe it's just because it's an, a, a lower-end phone. But I'll show you the... Uh... Oh, it actually does have some touch settings here. So let's see. Double tap the screen to wake up the phone, navigation bar. That's pretty nice. And uh, so on the bottom here, and you'll have to excuse me, I have, a, I have a cold. So on the bottom here, you have a back button. And if you hold that, that is your multi-app uh, multi task switcher thingamabob, your start button, and then your uh, search button. So if you hold down on this, it takes you to your task, your task switcher, which is uh, very reminiscent of uh, older iOS. And... Uh, hit back there and then if you want to go back a screen you can hit back again and goes back uh let's see phone update i'm not going to mess with that yet because i just want to see how windows phone 8.1 is um and i do want to show the about screen so the version this comes with so as you can see this is a microsoft lumia 435 but we know it's a nokia uh carrier t-mobile windows phone 8.1 update 2 Let's see, more info. Oh, wow. So you get a whole bunch more info here. So you get the OS version, firmware version, all that good stuff. Wow, look at that screen resolution, 480 by 800. And honestly, it doesn't look that bad uh, for such a cheap phone. So this is, so it says copyright 2014. Wow. Can you believe 2014 was five years ago? <laughs> it just boggles my mind. So, uh... Here's the home screen here. Now, the store is telling me I have a bunch of updates here, so let's see how that looks. If the store, I mean, I'm guessing it still works if the store is showing me that it has updates. Oh, loading, loading. Loading, loading. This is fun. Can't connect. <laughs> I kind of figured there would be a problem with that just based on the age of this. Oh, okay. I was wrong. So there is still a Windows Phone store here. 
Wow, okay. All right, what are our updates here? So that's kind of interesting. I do kind of like how that, how the store kind of scrolls here at the top. All right, so we've got some categories here. We've got our Lumia collection, games, entertainment, music and video, tools and productivity, lifestyle. Um, I'll get personalized suggestions, store. Okay, so I have to click this 18, I guess, here. Oh, <clears throat> Microsoft account required. Oh, let's not do that right now. Attention required, tap here. Now, from what I read on uh, online, when they got rid of the here maps from Windows 8.1, people were not very happy about that because the maps, this was a Nokia maps feature, so people weren't very happy about that. Okay, let's see, attention. Uh, oh, of course, it wants me to have, you have to have an app to do this, or you mean you have to have a, an account to do this, let's see. Ooh, what's happening? Oh, it's, it was bouncing. It was bouncing and having a good old time. Nope. Yeah, so I want you to sign in for all your apps. That's disappointing. So I'll have to sign in, but I won't do that right now. Um, but you got some, you got some apps here. I'm going to take a guess that it won't let me download a free app, even if I have an, if I, if I don't have an account in here. But let's just see. Mirrors of Albion. Free. Let's try. Allow access to location. Uh, okay. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Gotta sign in. Okay, so <clears throat> that will do uh, when I do my Microsoft account and put it in here. So, but yeah, um, it does have Cortana on here. Let's see what she can do. Hey, Cortana. Oh, beta. Wow, that was in beta. Oh my God. Oh, man, they just, you have to have Microsoft. You'll have to sign into, oh, that's such a shame. All right, let's look at this camera here. Oh, man, so many questions. Sure. Oh, that looks awful. Oh, let's see, let's see. This is my cat paying the cat tax here, so take a look here. Let's see. Does it have a flash? I don't think this has a flash on it. It does not have a flash, so I'm not even sure why it even has an option for flash. Let's take a picture here. All right, let's see. Uh, is that our picture here? Smart sequence. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, man, I got to figure this thing out. I'm just taking y'all for the ride. Do any of these apps currently work? Let's see if the news app even pulls up anything. Just out of curiosity. Loading. Oh, man. What an adventure. Welcome. The MSN news app makes it easy. No, I don't want any breaking news alerts, thanks. Wow, all right. So that is that is a headline from today. Okay, cool. Wow. MSN News, Associated Press, Time, New York Times. Wow. Well, I'll be darned. That's pretty interesting. Anyways, uh, you know, I just, I was just excited. I just got this in the mail today. I wanted to show you guys. Um, I will uh, add my Microsoft account and uh, do a better video of this, but um, I appreciate you looking at this, and uh, hopefully I didn't waste a whole bunch of your time here. Um, but yeah, man, $12. Little Lumia phone here. Um, now, unfortunately, one, one thing to note, this is upgradable to Windows 10 Mobile, but uh, after I ordered it, I read further that the Windows 10 Mobile uh, the later versions only run on some of the newer devices. So that was kind of disappointing. And in all honesty, when I read that, I thought, how many phones did they just stop supporting um, when Windows, as, an, as a PC operating system, can run on such a wide variety of hardware 
that their phones, they let them, they let older phones just go without being updated. Uh, that was kind of disappointing. I mean, if you compare, if you compare, uh, the iPhone, for example, which I think is, is the breadwinner when it comes to updates, the iPhone 5S from 2013, so six years ago, is still on a current version of an operating system is currently still supported. So that is, that is completely, that is completely shocking. So the fact that they didn't give, uh, some older Windows phone users, uh, the newer version, that, that kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, uh, I will definitely make another video of this. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, sorry this became so long, but uh, yeah, Nokia Lumia 435, Windows 8.1 mobile right now, and I will update it to Windows 10 mobile, uh, the version that this supports, and we'll do some more investigating. Thank you all for watching, and have a wonderful day.